Yes. Oh, hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today, I am reconstructing Airwolf. Were you there in the 80s? Well, if you weren't, you should have been because it was an amazing time. Airwolf is a series uh, made in America. I think it was um, 1987, something like that. And it was about a helicopter, technological military helicopter with secret missions. And uh, kids loved it, but also we still love it. <coughs> the truck was amazing. Do you remember it? It goes like this. Right? So today, to reconstruct this, I am going to use nothing but UVI, the kind sponsors of today's episode. And um, you know what? Let me uh, show you quickly around. Today's a beautiful day. Look at that. It's like summer, summertime. It's really hot. Um, so I've got my computer here. Now, you should know that every time I press this button, I alternate between the original song and whatever I am doing. So, for example, this is the original song. Right now, there is nothing. So, that's it. Uh, one thing that is worth noticing is that the track is in 12 eights. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three equals 12, 12 eights. Bang. So whilst the tempo would be 129 BPM, more or less, I had to change it on Cubase to accommodate that subdivision. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure if I do this correctly. In any case, I had to go one and a half times the speed. So 129 divided by 2 times 3. Otherwise, I wouldn't get the correct speed and the correct subdivisions. Because, you know, I, I still want to be able to quantize with just a touch of a button without having to go nuts. I will make this multi-track available. You should know that the speed is 193.5 as a 12.8. Or if you want to go for a simple 4.4, 4, it's just 129. I thought I'd mention that. Let's get started with the drums. The drums, the drums. You know what? On this occasion, I'm going to use the headphones because this track, this original one that I found, is from season one, if I got it right. It is not possible, apparently, to buy it on uh, iTunes or anything like that. I could not find it. So I had to you know, pull it down from YouTube. Quality isn't great, and uh, it's very mono. So today I'm going to use mostly headphones so that I really can dig into it. So the drums, I would say they are the Lindrum. I've read a couple of articles saying that basically this track has been put together with an OB-8, Oberheim, a Lindrum and an emulator. doesn't specify if emulator 1 or emulator 2. In any case, I will start simply with a kick drum from the Lin. Let's create the track. Add track instrument. Yes, this is the workstation, which opens up this thing. Uh, we call it bass drum. There you go. I am going to double click here. And as you can see, you know, UVI has a, like an infinite collection of stuff from the Casio, Paralight, um, DSX, DS1, DS77. Here you go, the emulator, emulator 2, emulator 1. So I'm just going to simply go for Beatbox Anthology. Yes, let's look for the Lindrum bass drum. Let's see if we have different ones. Oh, this is the LM1. Very cool. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use this one, maybe tune it down a bit. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Bit of top end here. Alright. Alright. So let's program this. One, two, three, four. 
so imprecise. But hey, quantize, done. <laughs> Maybe uh, we can go MIDI functions, fixed lengths, and then we make them all the same. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Now, let's give it a nice color. How about the color red? So it starts exactly from that. Let's just duplicate this and let's see if we can match the sound, yeah? Well, it's too loud. Let's see if we can just... Uh huh. Okay, with the velocity, I think I'm obtaining what I want, but let's see, let's retouch it even more. And it's done! Next, we're gonna create a track for the snare drum. Let's see, instrument again, let's call this SD. We open it up, double click here, Beatbox Anthology. What do we have? Classics, LM drum. We need the snare drum, right? So yeah, there you go. Here's the snare drum. Let's see. Ooh, that's, that's loud. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. This sounds pretty good, actually. Okay, let's try and record this. Done. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yes, yes. Then we're going to make this red as well. We're going to duplicate this. Then go back. Remove the click. All right, this is kind of loud. Maybe what we really should do is we should select all of them. Actually, let's do it like this. Select all of them. Bang, bang. And then we say MIDI function fixed lengths. This is how I like to roll. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would say let's just take one and make sure all the dynamics are the same. Bang, bang. Yes, and uh, let's put it there. Okay, let's try and match it to the original, yeah? Okay, I think I can hear it better here. Do you know what? Let me put my headphones on. Definitely too loud. Maybe we need to be a bit tighter, like that. Let's use this decay function. We need a little bit of reverb. So here, conveniently, UVI uh, provides us with uh, direct effects. So let's see. Or, this sounds more like it. Maybe it doesn't have uh, the same amount of low end. Let's see. Low end. Oh, it's this one. Yeah. All right. Do 
maybe a little bit less. <laughs> maybe be, tune it up a bit. All right, maybe quieter. Compression. Interesting. Um, I think this is fine. Oh, distortion. Okay, maybe less distortion is fine. I think that there is another element. I can hear a little bit of a... Maybe it's a... What? Is that a shaker? Like... You know what? Let me just duplicate this track. And I am going to add a... I don't know. Percussion, let's call it. We obviously remove this. We open that. Let's see what we have here. Let's try a different one. TR <laughs> we have TR clones. That's incredible. All right, digital arranger drums. L9000. Come on, let's see what you have got to offer. I'm going to use this one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, we're going to remove the reverb for now. Yeah, let's do that. And there it's done. That... I'm going to do my usual thing, which is functions, fixed lengths. This is good. And then I am going to cut it up like that and uh, duplicate ad nauseum. Yeah? Now let's compare. Without it? With it. Yeah. <laughs> What well, maybe the snare drum is a little bit um, down in down in like this in pitch. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the reverb can be a tad shorter. How about the percussion one? Reverb. Start shorter. Yeah, that works. It would be a good idea now to have some... I mean, by listening on headphones <laughs> to the original mix, I cannot really hear any hi-hat. Just because it's so noisy, I don't know, there is this big hiss. But you know what? I cannot live without one, so I'm going to add one. So let's create one more track. Bang, bang. We call this hi-hat. Let's select the beatbox anthology again. Easy. Okay. This sounds pretty okay. Hi-hat. Let's remove that. Let's remove this. Maybe tune it down. Let's remove the velocity. We make it even quieter then. Right? Um, low cut. All right. Let's record this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Quantize. Fixed length. All right, yes, yes, we put it right there, D, 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 
We want you red. Thank you. Okay, maybe let's tune it down. Maybe make it shorter. All right, that seems to work. So let's duplicate that again up until then. And let's see how it compares. I mean, of course, it's barely there at all. I think that the snare drum is a little bit too loud. And maybe the percussion is a little bit too loud as well. Okay, let's compare. The snare drum must be a little bit brighter. Uh, sorry. Right. Yes. Yes. I think this works. Are we done with the drums? No, we're not done. We need a crash. This is easy. This is the crash from the um, LM1 or 2. I think LM2. Sounds more like an LM2. Anywho, let's uh, duplicate this track. And this is going to be our crash. If I'm going capital letters, I'm going capital letters. Have you subscribed yet? Mm. Well done. We were saying, remove this. This is it. This is it. Maybe we need a little more volume. Okay. There you are. Let's remove the delay. Velocity. Let's tune it down. Is that the pitch? No, it's it's down. That's it. Quite bright, indeed. Let's see if we want to compress it a bit. We don't want to compress it a bit. Let's see distortion. Let's filter out the low end a bit. Too distorted. I think this is it. It's actually longer. Uh, I mean, it's darker. Tune down. Okay. Etc. So this is us and this is them. Maybe we're a bit too dark now. Let's go up a couple of semitones like this. It's too bright now. All right, somewhere around eight. Like that. How's that? Versus. Yeah, that's it. So, I have to put these crashes into place. There's one last there. And we sound like this. We're done with the drums! On the next episode, I'm gonna take care of business. <laughs> we got so much to do. If you like this episode, I think you should really check out UVI's instruments because they are awesome. Click here in the description. There is a link. You guys are amazing. I love you and I will see you next time. Dr. Mix.